Gareth Southgate explains Kabi may new U-turn and drops hint over England debut for Man United star. Gareth Southgate says he won't hesitate to hand Kabi Mainu his England debut after explaining his decision to make a U-turn over calling the Manchester United starlet into his squad. Mainu, 18, made his Premier League debut for Eric Ten Hag's side last November and has grown into a key player at Old Trafford in that short space of time, turning in another superb performance in the FA Cup victory over Liverpool. The midfielder was initially left out of the England squad for friendly games against Brazil and Belgium when Southgate named his 25-man group last week and was instead named in the under-21 squad. A few days later, however, he was called into the senior side. Asked about Maynou's inclusion, Southgate told a press conference on Friday, we've been blessed with St George's Park being built. This week some of our under-17s have come over to work with us, our under-21s were there. You get a club feel so hopefully the transition is as straightforward as possible because the players have a better chance of performing at their best level if they feel comfortable off the pitch. With Kabi, I said last week we were conscious of his development about how quickly we should go. You need to try make the right steps at the right time with young players. But opportunity presented itself and for us he was the next player in. We didn't want to stop that from happening. As we thought, he's fitted in brilliantly. His level of training has been excellent, we won't hesitate to put him on the pitch. Maynou has made 20 appearances for United since coming into the side in November. Jordan Henderson is expected to miss the Brazil game on Saturday which could hand Maynou a chance to make his international debut alongside Declan Rice and Jude Bellingham in a midfield packed with thrilling options. We need to see other players ahead of the Euros, Southgate said. If we were playing lesser teams you'd still have that question in your mind if they played well, okay, how are they going to be against the next level of opposition? So from our perspective it's a great exercise and opportunity. Eric Ten had wanted by three major clubs if Manchester United sack under fire manager. Eric Ten Hag will not be short of suitors if he is sacked by Manchester United at the end of the season. The Dutchman is likely to get until May in order to prove to Sir Jim Ratcliffe that he is the right man to oversee a seismic rebuild of the club both on and off the pitch. Ten Hag did his cause no harm last weekend by masterminding a memorable FA Cup quarter-final comeback against Liverpool, despite being forced to cope with a mounting injury crisis. Despite that dramatic victory, which teed up a semi-final against Coventry, Ten Hag's future remains less than certain. Reports this week have linked current England boss Gareth Southgate with the Old Trafford hot seat amid mounting speculation he will seek a fresh challenge following Euro 2024. Despite the damage to his reputation a failed spell in the Premier League might inflict, the Daily Star claims the 54-year-old still has many admirers in the Bundesliga. Ten Hag worked at Bayern Munich earlier in his career and the German giants could turn to their former employee should they fail to land number one target Zabi Alonso. Bayer Leverkusen insists they remain confident the Spaniard will snub Bayern and another of his former clubs, Liverpool, but should he depart and a vacancy open up with the German champions-elect, Ten Hag would fit the bill, while sleeping giant Stuttgart are also said to be keen on the ex-Ajax boss. Southgate, meanwhile, this week received the backing of United legends Roy Keane and Gary Neville, who both saw the logic in Ratcliffe coveting the man who has taken the three Lions to the latter stages of major tournaments over the course of his reign. I could see that happening, ex-United Captain Keane said on the Stick to Football podcast. Well, obviously everyone's thinking he's probably going to be with England this summer if he has a good Euros, thinking if they could win it. And if they don't, then maybe they're thinking you've ran your race with him. Mathis de Ligt reaffirms commitment to Bayern Munich and ends Manchester United transfer hopes. Mathis de Ligt has rubbished suggestions he is unhappy at Bayern Munich and says a summer transfer is not on the agenda despite recent links with a move to Manchester United. The centre-back, who swapped Turin for Bavaria in 2022 in a £65 million switch from Juventus, only featured sparingly at the start of this season under Thomas Tuchel and appeared to have been shunted down the pecking order by the arrival of Kim Min Jae. By the time Germany's mid-season break came around, De Ligt had started just two Bundesliga matches with a knee injury curtailing his involvement. That prompted links with a move to Old Trafford, with old Ajax boss Eric Ten Hag reportedly keen on a reunion, 
and the speculation only increased when Bayern decided to sign Eric Dier from Tottenham in the January window. But, since the turn of the year, De Ligt has started nine of Bayern's last 11 league matches, with one of those absences being the result of a suspension. Tuchel has been favoring a centre-back partnership of De Ligt and Dier in recent weeks, and the Dutchman gave a particularly impressive performance against Lazio in the Champions League last 16, even registering a spectacular assist. Having regained his starting spot, United target De Ligt has no desire to leave the Allianz Arena, while he says even when he was not playing there was little truth in the speculation that he could leave. Speaking to Voetbol International about the rumours, De Ligt replied, I think that mainly has to do with the expectations from outside. When I don't play, then a link is immediately made saying that I would not be happy and would want to leave. Of course there have also been matches that I would have liked to play, but I really have no reason to complain. I'm still having a great time at Bayern Munich and have been playing again lately. I never let rumors get to my head or drive me crazy because I know what the reality is. On regaining his place in the starting 11, he continued, I've started 10 of the past 12 matches. And I feel like I'm getting fitter and better which is a very good feeling. I started the season with an injury and that is of course always very annoying. I needed time to come back and then I also suffered a knee injury. As a result, I missed a lot of matches and at a club like Bayern Munich you have to deal with a lot of competition with international players.